largest Triassic reptiles of them all. Fortunately, sea reptiles are easy enough to spot because they have to come up for air. My first sighting was a nothosaur. The nothosaurs, they could be a bit nippy, but there's bigger reptiles down there that could easily kill a person. So this is my insurance policy, an electric prod. If they come too close, this should deter them. There's not just one note the saw, there's a pair of them. And they're inquisitive, coming closer and closer, they're so curious. But I'm the first human that they've seen. You don't know how they're going to react. And I'm glad I've got this electric prod in case they become just too inquisitive. But at the moment, they're just curious, circling around me. They've got a mouthful of teeth like razors, they're interlocking. That would seem to me to be the perfect fish trap. And they certainly move fast enough to catch the fish that are around here. <laughs> wow! There's one coming close now, and I'm going to try something. Like with alligators, there's only one safe way to hold an othosaur, and that's round the jaws. Way. Wow! A prehistoric ride with an othosaur. They can close those jaws with tremendous force, but the muscles that open them, they are really weak. But no, the saws, like all sea reptiles, they've got to go up to the surface to breathe. I can't hold him for too long. I'm going to let him go now. Go on, boy. Off you go. Oh, no. 